Good morning, Rudy. Yeah. Um, uh, from, uh, and, uh, for, from, uh, as a former Springbok, um, how proud are you of, of this group of players and what they've been able to achieve? I think, um, firstly, good morning to the two of you. Um, special, special time to be a Springbok fan, to be a South African. Um, just this group has, has shifted boundaries. They've, they've made us proud. Um, they've made rugby Obviously, previously, I think we had elite status now because of this group. And this is, for me, the best Springbok group, best Springbok era ever. And um, really proud to, to be a South African and be a Springbok fan. Uh, Rudy, you, you speak about the, the greatest Springbok um, era or, or tie, yeah, a, a, a team in the era of, of, of Springbok rugby. Um, what do you think makes this group of Player special beyond just the obviously the back to back trophies. Um, what is it that, that makes this group um, stand out from any other sort of Spromok team? I think, first of all, um, they're a very relatable group. When once it comes to being liked, you, you, you can really relate with this group, you can really like this group. And once it comes to the rugby part, um, for eight years to find a way to, to innovate and to, to stay on top. Um, honestly, I think they had the toughest road to this final, to, to this trophy than any other team previously. They had to be all top six teams in the World Cup to get to the trophy. And once you get all of that information, it is so easy to know that this is the best Springbok group in era to ever play, play in the green and gold. Um, I mean, our captain is, is honestly... Uh, as a human being, as a player, he's phenomenal. We've got, we were really unlucky not to have more players in that dream team. We should have had more players in that dream team that was announced at the awards. Um, we were the most experienced team in the final that to ever be in a Springbok selection. And I mean, honestly, this is, this is generational talented players that are currently playing for the Springboks. Yeah. Rudy, and it's a good thing you, you speak about the awards and what ha what happened at the awards. I know a, a lot of former players are calling it an injustice that, um, first of all, Eben Etzebeth was not named Player of the Year, um, that Jacques did not get um, Coach of the Year, that Mani Libok did not get Breakthrough Player of the Year. Do you feel as if um, World Drapi or whoever the panels were that were judging uh, have done South Africa a, a grave injustice? Um, I think we all are probably very, very, um, I won't say unhappy, but we feel for the players. We want them to get the reward that they truly deserve. I'm truly believing with, with everything in me that it was um, an unbiased decision by the World Rugby and not something just to, to hurt Springboks because we won the World Cup. Um, but I think the players, they will be happy with just being world champions. I think the accolades and the awards is a bonus on top, but they will be truly, truly uh, amazed with the love that South Africans is currently giving them. And they deserve every bit of our love and our cheers and our praises because they are truly phenomenal. But in our minds, in our hearts, even it's the best, best player in the world, Jack and Rassi, best coaches in the world, and the Springboks, best team in the world by far. Um, Rudy, you've also had the privilege of, of playing with a Sia Kolisi, Trevor Nyakane, Eben Nitzabeth, Duane Furumelen, and Henry Pollard, uh, Damien Dialendi, Jesse Creel. Um, what, does, what, what, what did that experience of, of those players, I mean, a lot of them had been at the 2015 World Cup, what, have, what, what, what difference do you think that made to, to them winning this World Cup? I think um, the longevity, first of all, I think we should, we should applaud the longevity of their careers to stay for three World Cups and still be the best in their positions um, over a period of 12 years is, is honestly amazing. Um, I think you, with any game that you play at that level, you gain more, you learn more, whether it is through good experiences or through bad experiences, um, you become a better player because the longer you spend with something, the easier it becomes. And I really believe that um, this year experience played the, the most important role because nothing was new to our players. The pressure wasn't new. The occasion wasn't too big. 
the moment in the last 10 minutes of every game that we had to fight through wasn't too big for them because they've been there before. And and some of them they've won and some of them they've lost, which, which they've learned to up. I take it back to the 2015 World Cup um, semi-final that we lost in a, in a two-point margin to the All Blacks. And Dwayne played, Andre played, Jesse played. And I think they've gained so much through those games that they lost. That that was, I wouldn't say easier, but they were accustomed to the pressure that they had in this, this last three games that we went through in the playoff period of this World Cup in 2023. Uh, Rudy, talking about that 2015 uh, Rugby World Cup and losing the semi-final by, by two points to the team that went on to eventually win uh, that World Cup. How painful was that? You were part of that squad. How painful was that? And do you think that that moment probably galvanized this team to go on to win 2019? And obviously that obviously um, came um, to 2023. Um, yeah, I've been part of the, the squad in 2020, uh, 15, and I mean... We were really confident going into that game, especially after the, the, the game we lost against Japan, that uh, Brighton Miracle. Um, and the way the leaders of that team, the Victor Matfields, the, the Furido Prius, the John de Villiers, the Scout Burgers, um, turned everything around. And then to get so close to a game that we probably should have won the way we played. Um, I think that those memories, I won't say bad memories, but the moments that you, that you lost in that game, I think it drives you day to day. I think it drove those guys to to want more and not to be in that situation again. And 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 I think that is what for me makes this group currently so astonishing, so amazing that um, they turned the boat around and made Springbok rugby really elite and and a, a brand that everybody is proud about. And and you speak about a brand that everybody is is, is proud about. Uh... Uh, really, I, I, I want to go back to the individuals within the team, and especially at this World Cup. And one felt for a guy like Gorbis Reinach and, and, and Mani Libok. H how do you think their sort of mental state was um, going in the, in, in, the, in the week leading up to the, to the final? Because they had played, they started in, this, in the quarterfinal and in the semis as well. And, and, and what do you think sort of changed? Um, uh, for them to, to be able to, to to stick to being team players as well? Uh, I think as any player, um, once, you, once you're not selected, there is that period in time where you're really down on yourself. Um, you, I don't want to, you know, don't get negative, but you're hurting because um, you want to be part of that big moments. And I think the two of them, obviously, they, they got the team into the final. Uh, I believe Rassi would have had a long and hard discussion with them about what the team needed through their planning for the final game. And they would have heard it for, for a few hours, would have slept on it, and then they would have understand and they realize that uh, the team is number one, the team is, is, is become its first, and they would have done, done everything in the, in the possible to make sure that the team was best prepared, whether it was through training or just whether it was through a positive uh, positive feedback in the week to make sure that they make sure that the guys, the 23 that ran onto the field in the final was really well prepared. And it wasn't about their personal feelings, but about what the team could accomplish in the final. And, 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 they, they, and they accomplished a wonderful thing, Rudy. Rudy, just on, on, on this accomplishment and the pressure that comes with wearing a Springbok jersey, you've done that. You've been there, won, won the jersey. How heavy is the weight of expectation from South Africa, or as this team says, they've used that as fuel um, to fire them to, to the greatness where they are. How heavy is the expectation from the South African public now um, on, 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 a, on a Springbok player? Um, obviously, before you play for the Springboks, um, you were a Springbok fan first of all, so you know the level of love everyone has for this team. The expectation is something that players really cherish, uh, but expectation that obviously is, is a really good thing. Um, it's a heavy burden to wear for the Springbok team. Um, sometimes I was part of the, the, the Springbok setup where things didn't go that well and South Africans didn't handle it really well. Um, and that is why this is such an awesome time to just enjoy what this group has done for the country and for the jersey. Um, because the expectation is for Springboks to always win. 
And obviously, after this World Cup, the expectation will be for us to go three times in a row and for every Springbok test match for us to win it. And I think this, the players realise and they know the expectations of Springbok fans and the wider South African community is for us to always win rugby games. And sometimes, um, like in the instance now, we are joyous, we are jubilant, we are happy, we are ecstatic. There will also be times where things might not go away, where we have to restart. But um, the players understand every little bit of it, and it makes you just work extremely hard to be an elite sportsman. And I think that is what South African strives from a Springbok player. And just lastly, Rudy, um, as, a, as a former Springbok and also as a proud South African, what does this win mean um, for Springbok rugby, for rugby, but also for South Africa? I think for South Africa, and I'm going to talk about myself first of all, um, I think this World Cup makes me fall in love with rugby all over again, if I'm 100% honest. Um, I've become, I'm addicted to the game again. I think all South Africans feel the same way. Um, I'm proud of him of the Springboks and, and, and being a Springbok is, is honestly, it's the way Sia carries himself. It's the way the team speaks about our country. It's the way every player plays for every citizen, whether it doesn't matter the community that we come from. Um, and I think that is what Springbok rugby is. Springbok rugby sums up sums us up as a nation because we come from all corners of the country we come together and we obviously we play together and we're the best in the world so for me Springbok rugby honestly sums us up as a country that we find a way to make it work that's the way we played in the playoffs and that is the way i think south africans is we are in general doesn't matter our circumstances our obstacles that we face we honestly just find a way and that is what Springbok rugby Honestly, is. Um, Rudy, I anticipate that you'll be meeting the team tomorrow, some of the players in the team in Cape Town? Uh, I really hope so. I'm going to be standing there with my flag next to the streets. I'm going to be cheering on with all of the fans. Hopefully my voice will last and hopefully <laughs> the voice can wave back at me. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think as I'm going to try and take my kids with me. Um, I've got a little girl. I think it's important that she sees what... Um, what champions looks like so the pages will be in the streets of cape town tomorrow cheering on the spring box i'm gonna warn you uh, rudy right there please stay away from damien film so he's still wearing the same kit as from saturday stay away from chisholm without a doubt because he still has the same strapping <laughs> and um i think a few other players as well and uh, stay away from Erge. you've played with Erge. stay away from him because i hear that he's carrying um, uh, something that could um, alter your your, your hairstyle <laughs> Uh, I'm to stay away from them. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Rudy Page, uh, former Springbok scrum off, played in the 2015 Rappi World Cup. Mm. And you can hear him. He's falling in love with Rappi all over again, Tumelo. You know, when you hear a former player say that, yeah. a former Springbok say that, um, why wouldn't we fall in love, mm. love with the game? Yeah. But more than anything, he speaks, he speaks about South Africa and not about Rappi. Yes. He says this was a, a victory for the country. This was a victory for every single person, regardless of your race, mm. your religion, mm. your gender. Mm. And, and this is a theme that, that is just permeating throughout. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's more than just a rugby. It's more than just a game. It's more than just a trophy. Right. No, for us, it's our life. Yeah.